for the International Day of Trading. Hey there, my name is Daddy and I'm one of the trading and mindset coaches with the International Day of Trading Academy based in Australia, otherwise known as IDTA. So in this video, I will be going over why price action in your trading charts just seems to stop at what appears to be hidden or invisible brick walls. Price doesn't seem to correlate to common support or resistance levels or maybe even trend lines that you've drawn. It just seems to be something that is causing the market you're trading to just stop or not be able to break through a particular price level and you just can't figure out why. And also, when a market is trending in either direction, we at the Academy trade both up and down, so it's relevant what the market is doing, where it's going that day. So when it's trending, I'll be sharing you with why the market, the whole market, reverses at a certain point as well. Essentially allowing you to potentially pick the top or the bottom of the market. So if you're new to trading and still getting your head around it, or you've been trading a while and still can't figure out the seemingly invisible brick walls, then this video is for you. So these invisible brick walls are often related to what's called Fibonacci levels. And there are actually quite a lot of different types of Fibonacci. We call them Fibs. However, in this video, I'll be introducing you to two different types. Fibonacci retracements, which gives you a guide to where the price may be retracing to, and Fibonacci extensions, that tell you where a price may extend up or down, which can allow you to potentially pick the bottom or top of trends. So I'll give you the examples of the most common retracement and extension levels as well. So understanding and applying the Fibonacci ratios for your trading is a very powerful tool for your trading skill set. So in this video, we will first understand the basics of Fibonacci. What is it? And then I'll give you a couple of practical examples of how I use Fibonacci in my trading. Before we start, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our new videos. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, we need to understand what Fibonacci ratios are. Now, I am not a maths expert by any means. But what I do know is that Fibonacci ratios originate from the Fibonacci number series. Now, the reason why these number series are so important is because they are seen in many different aspects of life and the universe, such as why a snail shell looks the way it does, why petals on flowers are so perfectly formed, and also the shape of our faces and our body are all in some way associated with Fibonacci. It's the magical mathematical algorithm behind the structure of how most things in the universe and life are created. Okay, let's go into the charts. Okay, so let's understand how we can apply the Fibonacci numbers in our trading. So if you've been trading for a while, or even if you're new to trading, you'd have already noticed that the price of any chart or market does not move in a straight line, okay? It kind of zigzags up and down. And usually when price makes a move, it'll have some kind of pullback. For instance, move up, pull back. Okay, so as traders, we want to have an idea of where the pullback may potentially retrace to, hence the term Fibonacci retracement. So this is where the Fibonacci retracement tool can help us. This is Ninja Trader. It's F8. Okay, so I'm going to go the largest market in the world, S&P 500, the ES, um, and I'm not going to cherry pick, okay? I'm going to show you in real time. This is the candle now. Now, I trade the Asian session, okay? So this time here. So I'm going to apply it to what I saw this morning while I was trading. So what we have here is market moving up, okay? So if the market is moving up and then moving down as a pullback, we want to draw the Fibonacci up. So market moving down here, we draw a retracement up, okay? So that's what we do, F8 to see where it's retracing to, all right, to see where the potential store points are. So the most common price retrace is actually the 50%, okay, sometimes a little bit deeper, 61.8. Uh, if it's not trending that hard, then 76.4 is a common retracement. Sometimes it gets to the 90, okay, but very often the 50, 61.8, 76. If the market is in quite a, a strong trend, 
it may actually only get to the 38. Okay, as you can see, it bounced off the 38 here. All right. So what we happen to see this morning is that price moved up, pull back. Now, this is the biggest market in the world. Okay, biggest market in the world. In the world could not get below the 76.4. It actually crossed the gap, which is a very super strong resistance and support level. Um, but it was actually the 76.4 that it really couldn't get past. Okay, so biggest market in the world retraced to that. Everyone around the world saw that and the market started to buy off that level. Okay, the invisible brick wall of the 76.4 fib. All right, let's look on a more micro level. Okay, so at the time, let's look at this little trend here, this little pullback here. So that's all we saw at the time. Okay, so market's moving up. We draw our fib down like so. All right, to see where it's potentially stalling. All right, so market's moving up. Can't get past the 50. Okay, next candle pushes up, pushes up, pushes up. Cannot close above the 50. What's the response of the market? Everyone saw that big sell off. Okay, so that's on a micro level. All right, so let's look at a different market. All right, let's look at the NASDAQ, another market that I trade in Asia. And let's see what it did this morning when I was trading. All right, so first of all, you can see that there's some stalling around here. Okay, so let's, let's have a look to see why it's stalling around that area. Stalls here, can't get past the 50 and the 61.8. And here, again, the 76, okay? It kept banging against the 76, could not could not get past it, couldn't close above it pretty much, so the market sold off, okay? That's a 15 minute chart. Delete that. All right, so even here as well, you can see there's some stalling points there. What's it stalling against? Look at that, the 50 fib, all right? Couldn't get past the 50 fib. Now, this is not a brick wall on my chart. It's an invisible brick wall, but I just happen to learn how to use fibs really well. So 50 fib, all right? Now, fibs are really quite subjective. So we just need to figure out what the vast majority of traders around the world are thinking, okay? So you, sometimes you draw it on the leg, the most recent leg, and sometimes you draw it on the stair step. So most recent leg is that one, stair step is that. Now, it's kind of respecting it, kind of not. So we're thinking, you know what? I think most traders around the world are using this leg here. And they are. Bang, 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 bang. Okay? All right. Let's go to an even larger time frame. Let's go to the four hour. Let's see what it's doing there. All right. So where can we draw a fib here? Just actually going to give some more days. So let's look at this trend up here. Let's see why it stopped there. All right. So let me make this bigger for you. Market's moving up. So we look for the most recent move down, which is this one. So I'm going to draw it from here to here. Where's it stopped? Magically at the 76.4. Now, to give an indication of how powerful this is, this particular candle is 69,000 contracts. 69,000 contracts on the NASDAQ and it stopped magically at our 76. Pretty powerful stuff, eh? Okay, now I'm gonna show you some Fibonacci extensions. So a Fib extension shows us where a price may potentially extend to, okay? Now, the most common extension levels are the 100%, 133, 141. Um, if it's a really strong trend, it may often sort the 161.8. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go back to this morning when I was trading, just because I know what happened this morning. And let's do an extension on this here. Why did the price stop there? So let's have a look. Look at that. Like magic, what did I say? One three three one four one. 
push down, 133, 141, bang, 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 and the market started to buy, okay? Like magic. So let's go to a larger time frame to see if it works on those as well. Mm, let's go to, let's go like all the way up to a weekly. Okay, here we go. Let's look for a nice stair step. Mark has been a little bit range bound, not trending nicely. So let's find a nice trend. Here we go. Start of the trend is up here somewhere, isn't it? So let's go this ABC there. All right. Where does the market stopped? Here we go. 233 three, bounced off that. Again, couldn't really close below it. It did get below it, but where does it stop? At the 300 fib extension, almost like magic, this invisible brick wall. So let's have a look how many contracts. A lot, <laughs> a lot of contracts. And it stops pretty much at the 300 fib extension. So you know what? I'm still blown away by how this all works, how markets this big can stop at seemingly invisible brick walls. It's really quite incredible. So that's how Fibonacci levels work. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Now, if you've been a little bit intrigued by this video and you would love to learn more, then you can register for the next free trading class and the link is available below. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day and bye for now.